Hi there guys. So today I'm going to do my end of the year empties. You'll be seeing this after the end of when the year begins. So um, I've moved a lot and I've still kept this bag of trash for y'all because I, I, what can I say? I, I'm trash so I carry trash with me. I'm sorry. Anyways, um, before I start, I'm going to tell you what my lipstick is. It's Human Nature by Jeffree Star from his uh, holiday collection. And then I did my eye makeup with the Naked One palette. So let's get this video started and I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe. Alright, so first is this Sephora Triple Action Cleansing Water Face and Eyes No Rinse. Calendula, ex Calendula extract. It this stuff like my dad's girlfriend and I both use this. There's still a little bit on there in there, but like the pump couldn't get it. Um, I like that it's a pump. Really like that because then I just had to take my little cotton and pump, pump, pump. Be done. Get it all over. This stuff is great. It um gets a lot of stuff off. Um, personally, if you get it in your eyes, it might sting a little bit. So, like, whenever I use this, first I would use baby oil to get that off. And then I would take this and wipe off the baby oil with this stuff. So, uh, yeah, I really like it. I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing it again because I really like my Garnier micellar water. But, I mean, while I use this, this is good. Right. Trash for that, that goes. Next is my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. Uh, I've been using this stuff since I started going to the dermatologist. This stuff is amazing. Also, recently, I got my brother to start washing his face. He thought he washed his face. That all you had to do was wash your face with water. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 honey. No, 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 no. This is not how this works. Let me show you. And I was like, use my cleanser. And it will, it will clear your face up. He used to look like pizza face, kind of. Now his face is really clear. So I'm just like, I'm so happy because I taught him well now. Like, he doesn't look like a pizza. I'm so happy. But this stuff is literally magic. If you need a face wash, use this. Try this out. And they also have one for dry skin. So if you have dry skin, skin <laughs> if you have dry skin, then, uh, at which I've also used that one before. I used that one when I was doing Accutane. And that one worked really well, too. Um, I would say, though... This one removes makeup, like if you're not using a micellar water or something else to take off your makeup beforehand, this one's really good because it foams up, so it, like it gets really foamy, so like it'll take the makeup off really easily. I also use this to clean my makeup brushes because if I trust it on my face, why wouldn't I trust it on my brushes? But, um, but the one for dry skin is more lotion-y textured, kind of. So, like, it doesn't take makeup off as much as this one does. But this one is really great. Like, helps take the acne away. It's amazing. Like, this is what I use to wash my face every day. I have another bottle in the cabinet. Because the second this stuff goes out, the face is done for. Alright. Done with that. Next, I used... I finished up a thing of acetone. This is the Equate Beauty Strengthening and Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. What can I say? It's nail polish remover. I grew up in a household where we don't spend lots of money on nail polish remover, but apparently there's good nail polish remover out there that takes it off really quick, and I'm like, what is this? Like, I'm not just, I don't care how long it takes, like, it just... There's no reason to pay $10 for a nail polish remover, in my opinion, but that's me. I'm Maybe I don't do my nails enough to know, but most of the time, like, I pick off the nail polish anyway, so <laughs> there's, there's really no reason for me to worry about buying expensive nail polish remover. Alright, 
Next, I finished up a warm vanilla sugar from Bath & Body Works, which is an accomplishment for me, because like I have so much Bath & Body Works stuff, it is ridiculous. Like my vanity, there are two little uh, shelf areas. They're both filled with Bath & Body Works stuff, and then there's also a closet that is in the hallway and that is also an extended version of my collection because I don't have enough room for it in here and my bathroom is re really small. So um, this is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It's one of their like they always have it collection so like if you want to try it out you can always want run to Bath & Body Works and they will have this. Like this is one of their staying in store collections like you don't have to worry about it being limited limited edition i'm sorry i just ate earlier so my body does not like me right now um okay next i used up a garnier skin active micellar cleansing water the all-in-one removes makeup even waterproof mascara and cleanse and refresh no rinse no harsh rubbing face lips and eyes this stuff will get your makeup off like it's amazing like oh and when it says it gets waterproof makeup eye makeup off it does like I need to stop saying like oh god um my mascara that I use is not particularly waterproof but it is basically waterproof because it is a it is an SOB to take off so I use this and it gets it off way faster than that other micellar water and I don't like I don't necessarily have to use the baby oil beforehand to get makeup off with this because it'll go off no matter what I love this stuff if you haven't tried it try it I think they also have a normal one and a mattifying one um my cousin uses the mattifying one I know but uh, this is really, really, really good. If you haven't tried it, I suggest it highly that you do. Okay. Next, um, this is just an Urban Decay shadow thingy thing. Like the thing that it came in. Because you can pop it out from the bottom. Yeah. I just threw that in there. Okay. Next. Here's the sad part. <laughs> I used a, I used up one of my butter bronzers. Um, I mean, there's still stuff in there, but like, it shattered. Oh, piece came out. It shattered. Oh God. Oh, oh. Uh, there it went. A piece on the floor, but uh, it it shattered. It shattered. So it's rendered useless now. But this is one of my favorite bronzers ever if you have not tried it where are you and what are you doing with your life because this bronzer a smells all right next I'm going to this is a mascara that was given to me I don't suggest sharing mascara with people this was this was before I knew about eye infections I'm not saying I got an eye infection and the person that used it used it once which that's not an excuse but okay did not like this mascara first off my issue with most mascaras is they flake like they will get all over my under eyes I've been working all day this mascara right here does not flake it's the Smashbox x-rated my favorite mascara ever like I don't know if I'll ever replace it like I'm just gonna keep on buying it um, but anyways this is the Rimmel scandalize flex <laughs> I don't care for how big this brush is like that is a giant brush like that's the size of my eye don't like it don't like that it flaked so bye next is I used up a naked another another one this just shows you I love this stuff like if I repeatedly am buying a foundation that is $40 I like it okay so this is naked skin uh, weightless ultra defining liquid makeup from urban decay in the shade one 
I love this stuff. This is amazing. Uh, it's definitely my makeup for if I'm running out of my drugstore foundation or if I have a special event coming on, which I'm in theater, so most of the time there's a lot of special events where I got to do stage makeup or anything. Like I'm in dance, I'm in theater, I'm in choir. There's a lot of things for me to put special makeup on. So this is what I normally will wear. It's amazing. Uh, it pretty much covers up my redness. It's not like a hundred percent covering up my redness, but like I'll deal with it because I love it. It's just, and it like doesn't feel like it sinks into my pores. Like some, some foundations feel like that. Um, I do want to say I want to try the all nighter, which, cause I heard that's full, full, full coverage. Um, but if I get that one, it'll definitely like, I went and they said they don't have a shade that matches this shade in the all nighter when it's the same company. And I'm like, Hmm, Hmm, that's a little weird urban, urban decay. Why don't you have a shade that matches this one? This is literally the same brand. Why don't mm, get your life together? But maybe they've put out more shades. Who knows? I also want to try out their new concealer, the all nighter concealer. I want to try that. But I was watching Leanne says, and she said that it oxidizes. Which is not a good thing for a little pasty pasty girl like me. Which is why I moved on to this concealer. Because it's white as hell. But, um, anyways. On to the, on to the subject. Love this stuff. If you're the same, about the same color as me. Try it. It's great. I'm a full coverage queen. So, if a full coverage queen is saying this is good. It's good. Okay. And we're gonna just throw that away. Anyways. Uh, next I have some, oh, shoot, um, oh, CoverGirl Lash Blast. I used to love this stuff. Not so much anymore. Um, they're both, oh, one's in black and very black, if that makes any difference. Um, don't like this. It's waterproof and it flakes. So, bye. I used to love it when I was, I used to love it back in like middle school, but I've, I've moved on to greater things now. <laughs> okay. The next is another mascara. It's a Maybelline Colossal Chaotix, Cha Chaotix mascara. Don't like the wand. Uh, also flakes on me yet again. Basically, there's going to be a lot of mascaras in here because I did like a little bit of a decluttering recently and I was like, I don't need this. I don't use this. Bye. So that's what we're doing. Um, okay. Oh, this is my favorite mascara ever. This is the Smashbox X rated uh, beauty brands. If you're in Texas, has a sale every couple of months, I think. Like, I think they do it two times a year or something like that. Um, they do their $10, dollar $10, uh, mascara sale. That is when I buy this. I should probably start buying doubles because it is so much cheaper to buy this on that sale. Like, this stuff is amazing. This is the wand. Yes, that is the wand. Okay. It is amazing. It is very voluminous, very lengthening. I love it. It's a little bit of a pain to get off. Doesn't say it's waterproof, but it's amazing. And you should try it. Like I've been using this stuff for a while. It does not flake. And I am one of the girls that has the flakiest eyelashes. So believe me when I say this stuff is amazing. Okay. Next, I have a CoverGirl lip balm, I think. Uh, yeah, my dad gave me this, and I was like, mm, we're just gonna, we're gonna get rid of you. I didn't like it, didn't think it worked enough, so, yeah. Next is a CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. Y'all know for a very long time I used to use this, but I realized this is not light enough for me to highlight with. 
so yeah we're getting rid of this um it's in the shade fair I like it if I ever really need like a drugstore concealer like if I can't run to Sephora and get another concealer we'll basically be getting this one uh, it's good it's good good coverage and everything um I just I have better things now and I can afford Kat Von D. <laughs> I can afford Kat Von D, y'all. Um, yeah, I've been using the Kat Von D Locket. It is very full coverage. Um, you do not need very much for this. And while everybody else has been paying attention to the shape tape, this is what I've been paying attention to. It is really good. I'm in the shade L1 Neutral. Um... This is amazing, and it's actually light enough for my pale <laughs> self to highlight the under eyes. It's not just one blank can canvas now. So there's that. Um, the next is a Palladio Aquafor <laughs> Palladio Aquaforce Waterproof Defining Mascara in black. Don't like it. The brush is great, but once again, it flaked on me, so I'm good. I'm good with life. I don't need that. Superhero by It. I don't hate how the brush is. Don't hate it at all. It actually is pretty good when you're trying to put mascara on, but I just, first off, it does this thing on the cap. Like, mascara will collect on between the cap and the thing I don't like that I don't think that's hygienic but also it also flaked on me and yeah I'm sure these mascaras are great I'm sure people love them and if you love any of the things in this thing and I'm saying I hate it I'm sorry this is not an attack on you please don't come attack me but these things just flake on me and mascara like some people say is very personal so that's just that's how my life is I have to deal with flaky eye, eye products okay next is a Rimmel uh, gel eyeliner in black this is really good it just dried out one day so can't exactly use it now but um I use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. That one's pretty good too. It's just the one thing I have to say about that is do not, under any circumstance, use. Excuse me. And under any circumstance, use that eyeliner with an eye primer. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have really oily eyelids, which is what I'm having to deal with right now, and I'm dying. Um, but it will transfer to your to your crease if you have oily eyelids. So be careful of that. Next I have the Milani Lash Cover Mascara with three zone brush. Let me tell you, this is what the three zone brush looks like. And this little part right here, that that's not mascara. That's the brush. I don't like this brush. I don't like how the mascara is. It flakes. It's not good. Don't like it. Okay. Next, I have a Ulta eyeshadow in the color Pearl. This is really pretty. You can barely see it. It's old. It needs to be gone. So it's going by. Next, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I have this MAC concealer that I found in the theater department, and I'm going to use it to back it to MAC so I can get a free lipstick. <laughs> so, this is actually staying. I'm keeping trash because I'm going to back to MAC stuff. Also, I'm going to back to MAC. Where is that? Where is that thing? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't know where it went, but I have an eyeshadow. Oh, it's right here. I have this eyeshadow. Does not work anymore. I mean, it works, but I don't like it. And it's like a weird texture now. So I'm going to get rid of it. So, yeah. I'm really happy about that. Um, next is the uh, Maybelline Great Lash Big. Do you see that brush? 
Do you see this brush? That is a big brush. How am I supposed to put that on my eye? I can barely put on mascara without put, getting it all over my face. Uh oh. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I know a lot of people used to use this. I know it used to be a lot of people's favorites when we were little middle schoolers. But this is not my favorite. And it never will be. So, bye. Okay. Next, um, is Avon lipstick. Why is this in here? That works. I don't know why this Avon lipstick's in here. Does it smell? Oh, it smells. I don't think it's good anymore. This is an Avon lipstick. Unknown name. It's a goldy, pearly color. My Mimi gave it to me, so I'm throwing it away. Because who knows how long that thing's been there. Avon Glimmer Sticks Waterproof Eyeliner in Midnight Blue. Useless. If it takes that hard to press down on it, on my hand, I ain't doing that on my eye. Next is a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Fair. It's concealer. A lot of people like it. I don't. It's not. This is your fair. This is your fair. This is darker than my foundation. Maybelline, I'm going to need you to work on your fair color. Because this is not fair. Please work on your life. Because this is not fair. This is dark for a fair girl. This does not... That's not even the color of my face. So I need you to work on your life. I mean, it worked when I used it. <laughs> but, hell, I ain't using it anymore. That, that stuff's too dark. Next is a NYX eye pencil. And I... Da, 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 the, it's the Pitch Black eye pencil in the Tres Jolie eyeliner. It was good. It's dried out now, so... Bye. It works a lot. I like it in the waterline. It doesn't like get all over or get in your tear ducts. Like that's an issue I have. My uh my eyeliner that I do a waterlining with will get in my where? Oh my god. Where is all this? I don't know where all the black came from. I don't know where it came from. But um, anytime I use, Lord Almighty, anytime I use um black eyeliner it'll usually go into the tear ducts and smudge and I don't need that when I'm trying to look flawless for my Instagram y'all okay that's that's enough of that right now uh, next is a Elizabeth Arden lipstick I've had this for a while it does it's all, it's all it stinks really bad so I think it's gone bad so I'm not gonna put that on my lips or anyone else's lips Okay, we're, we're getting to the end of the pile. Okay, why, why is this in there? This does not need to be in there, in the pile. Um, this is a unknown, I'm assuming this is like some Alme or Neutrogena lipstick someone gave me. It, it's a twist up and it's, it's done. It's done for, it's not... Oh, it stinks. No. Didn't even try that. I don't even think I wore that the entire time. Uh, yeah. These things are useless. They put them in our packages and they have nothing in them. I get so mad. Anyways, I'm throwing this away. Not good. This is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I love this like I should invest in a full size of this because this stuff lasted for a pretty long time just being the mini size I mean it's in trooper and like my Alana was looking good whenever I use this but um it's twenty dollars for eyeliner and I have a perfectly good NYX brush liner I love that thing. The NYX Matte Eyeliner is great. It's a 
pain in the butt to do eyeliner with. But you learn how to do it. But this, this stuff is really good. Like, I suggest it. If, if you're looking for a pin eyeliner, because, like, okay, the thing is, this is in a pin form, but it feel it doesn't, it's a felt tip, but it doesn't act like a felt tip. It doesn't lose its its stiffness because it, it's not stiff but it's not it doesn't like lose the stiffness like it'll still be good because I had a Too Faced one that I got in a thing I don't know is it this one this Too Faced sketch liner the it's good it's got go it's got good pigment except for me it's too flexible I mean it's good and then also like if you use it too much like if you use it too frequently it stops being as good so like you know what I'm gonna throw this one away because it's been over six months since I've used this last and it's not very good um I don't suggest the sketch marker liner not a hun at all I hate it don't like it don't suggest you buy it yeah, so that, that's going away too. Uh, but this, the Cap on D one, good. I like it. Uh, next is a Naked Skin uh, Weightless Complete Cover Concealer in Fair Neutral. I love this stuff. The only thing is, I don't think it's light enough. Because I think it's the same color as the foundation. I don't need that. I need a highlighting. Because uh, if I'm going to cover some, if I'm going to cover a blemish up, I'm going to get my color correcting palette. Yeah. So, there's that. I liked it. Um, another Urban Decay eyeshadow thing that doesn't need to be there. Um, oh, uh, next is a NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I love this stuff. Um, I, I used the crap out of it, and it got it gets to the point with this this eyeliner that it'll start bunching together. So, I had to get rid of that. Like, I had to buy a new one. But luckily for me, it's like less than $10. And then I think when I bought the new one, it was on sale at Ulta for buy one, get one for half off, something like that. NYX products. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you know what I did right there, I'm proud of you. Okay, next is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. What can I say? I love this thing. I This is the only thing I touch my eyebrows with. Um, other than my BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Eye, eyeshadow. Eyebrow palette. Um, I really love this stuff. It's great. The color actually matches my eyebrows and my hair. Like, my hair is two different colors. Well, it's more than two different colors. It's like multiple colors because it's Dirty Blonde. So Dirty Blonde has the whole, whole spectrum of hair color in it, basically. So this, this works really well. Taupe does not work for me. Uh, caramel does. Taupe is very warm. Caramel's more cool tone and it works for me. So, oh. really? Okay, I can't find it. So, moving on. Uh, here's another one of those lash things. We're throwing it away. Uh, this kiss. I got a little kiss thing um, in my pack of lashes. This this liquid, this sounds really good. Like, it, it, it actually works. I'm like, I'm not mad at it. I might try it out later. Um, this is just a Mary Kay package thingy. Sample cover thing. We're going to get rid of that. I like the eyeshadow. Um, um, okay. Last few things. This this needed to go. I love these sponges. I actually, I've, dear God, I'm just flinging things all over the place today. Um, as you can see, there's there's rips in it. It's gross and nasty. It needed to go. And I use my sponges on people. I try not to, but sometimes brushes don't work quite as well as you would like them to. So you have to like pat it out, make sure there's no brush lines and stuff on people. 
So, uh, I like, like I said, I use my Real Techniques sponge every day whenever I do my makeup. Um, also, I think it's just as good as a beauty blender. Like, I've had a beauty blender before and I was not impressed. I was like, I can buy this Real Techniques sponge for like, in a pack of two for $10. When I get one for double the price of that for two. So, yeah. I like my Real Technique sponge. Uh, next is this Rimmel eyeshadow. It's dried out. It's useless. Then It was like that when I got it. Because people gave me stuff. That was, that's what happens when you start wearing makeup. Your family collectively just gives you makeup. Because they're like, here, I don't use this, but you can use it. And you're like, sure, you don't sterilize it. And then you learn you need to sterilize stuff. Um, next is the Laura Geller Style Lash Intense Lengthening Mascara. I don't really like lengthening mascaras. I'm more of a volume. I like the brush. If it was more voluminous useful, that'd be great. Um, and then I think it also flaked on me, so... I'm just a flaky girl. This, this is so old. I, I need to get rid of this. This is a Maybelline correcting crayon. I've got stuff that works better now. That's creamier, blends better. Doesn't show under things. Uh, yeah. This is one of the first few things I did use when I got makeup. So, that shows you how old it is. And, I think. These are the last two things. I'll put them together. Um, I, like I said, family members give you stuff they don't want to use anymore. Um, I have to press really hard on this to make it work. I'm not going to do that to my eyes. Also, it feels like tugs, so I don't, don't want to tug on my eyes. Um, and then this is a, another eyeliner. Also, I have to tug really hard on it to get it to work. Oh, there's another thing. Um, once again other eyeliner got tugged real hard not gonna do that to my eyes uh, and those were all Mary Kay but um okay so that was it hope you liked this video please like and subscribe if there's anything else you would like to see from me um just tell me in the comments and I will see y'all later bye